Welcome all Belizeans this evening to the town meeting sponsored by the Belize Rural Economic Development of Agriculture through Alliance. The acronym is BREDA. This is the organization that brings you the Belize Caribbean Pulse and now we are also pursuing a uh, television medium in the way of Belize. Today we feel very responsible and very honored that you came out to discuss and to participate in a very important national issue that is prevailing in the country of Belize today. We have invited a panelist here to participate and to help to stimulate the discussion. But by no means will the discussion be limited to those who are on the panel. The purpose of the town meeting is so that average rank and file Belizean living in this area can contribute and participate in the decision-making process as well as suggesting solutions that the present leadership in Belize may not have at hand. So that's the purpose of the town meeting. We are Belizeans and we have a right to determine and to make the decision on which route we will go. I will not get into a long talk with you tonight because we have the panelists here who will be specifying areas of the historical aspect of this dispute, the contemporary problems that we face, and hopefully we will project on the implications of this maritime law or act that is being promoted now in Belize by the present government as well as the opposition. But briefly, I would like to first introduce our panelists to you. We have Nuri Mohammed from the Breda organization and host of the Belize Caribbean Pulse sitting at the table, Brother Nuri Mohammed. We have uh, Mr. Kenworth Tillett, who was one of the leaders of the Belize Action Movement that was responsible for the uprising in Belize City in 1981 with the Heads of Agreement, Mr. Kenworth Tillett. We also have here a very special guest from the country of Guatemala. He's a representative of the Guatemalan Cultural Committee. His name is Felipe Rojas, and he's here with his wife, and his wife will be translating in English so that you can hear what he has to say from the Guatemalan people and the refugees living in this country. Mr. Rojas, we welcome you to our program. Very briefly, I would like to first say that the belize guatemalan boundary dispute was not of our creation. That has to be made explicitly clear from the beginning. This originate from the inception between two colonial brothers, Europe Spaniards, and the Europeans in Britain. This has to be made clear. We inherited that. Likewise, Guyana, and the list goes on. It have stifled our development as a nation culturally, politically, and economically. For 20 years, Belize dallied between self-government and a colonial colony of Britain. It was not until 1981, with the help of the international community, led by Cuba, the country that we know so little about, but yet was the first country in the Caribbean region to stand up in the United Nations and voted to support Belize's right to self-determination. It is very important also to note that many of the discussion is being directed towards the Maritime Act that is now in front of the House of Representatives in Belize. But before we can debate the clause in that act, we must first understand the historical process, what it means and its implication. 
and this is the purpose of the town meeting. So with no further ado, I would like to first go to our first panelist, Mr. Kenworth Tillett, who will give us a perspective of his involvement during 1981 and his vision of what he sees and the similarity of what he sees in the present uh, legislation that is being pursued in Belize to settle the uh, Belize-Guatemala boundary dispute. Mr. Kenworth Tillett. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. It's unfortunate that uh, I have to be here tonight because I honestly believe that uh, I had put this behind me some 10 years ago. I thought I had put this baby to bed and that uh, when she grew up, she would have been a mature adult. Unfortunately, we have still have some people out there who believe that uh, Belizeans in a whole do not understand what they're talking about when they come with their slimy diplomacy. The Belize Maritime Act today is still seceding land, Belizean land to Guatemala. At least that's the way I understand it. For a little background on what I represent or what happened back then, uh, the government of Belize of the day of Mr. Price elected to go to Guatemala and they decided to try to work out a treaty over an of a illegitimate claim that Guatemala has had on the territory of Belize since time begun, apparently. While they were working out this treaty, these people decided that we are going to give Guatemala some land, some rights within the Belizean territory so that we can have some peace and we are going to achieve our independence. Unfortunately most, of, fortunately, most of the Belizean people did not see it that way, and we had a popular uprising. I'm glad to say today that I was in the forefront of that movement. Today, the Maritime Act, as it's written, still wants to give these people not only territorial access, but the rights to the seabed they're under and in good old Belizean colloquial terms, I don't care how much water you got atop, you got land at bottom and the land belong to me. So, you know, what I'm saying is that we are still talking about seceding land for peace. It has become apparent to me, I'm a little bit older, less emotional, but I'm a little bit stronger today, that I am not going to feed this shark a fish. He's going to bite my hand off. Because the moment I give him access to that, he wants a little bit more. In the Heads of Agreement, they talked about building a pipeline through Belize, access to Dangriga's ports and stuff. These people have been politically unstable as far as I could remember. For them to build that type of pipeline, they would have to defend it. That would mean Guatemalan troops on Belizean territory. That does not give me any kind of security. The Guatemalan claim to Belize is illegitimate. The Guatemalan claim to Belize is illegal. The Guatemalan claim to Belize makes me uncomfortable. And sure, I would like to have the peace of mind to know that these people no longer want a piece of But I am not willing to give away any of the little bit of land that we have, or the natural resources they are under the seabed, or the rights to anything to appease this monster. The Belizean Action Movement back in 1981 called on the people of Belize to come out into the streets and voice their opinion. They did so in alarming numbers. Nobody had ever seen anything like it in Belize. Under the Webster proposals and the 13 proposals on time immortal, every time the politicians have brought this to our people, they have rejected them in graphic terms. I expect the same to happen today. And as far as I'm concerned, the heads of the agreement and the Maritime Act 
I like twin brothers. Somebody just died there here differently. Thank you. Uh, we would like to call to the microphone our brother from the country of Guatemala. He represents the Guatemala or Guatemalan Cultural Committee based in Los Angeles. His wife will be translating for him and he will be speaking on the behalf of the Guatemalan refugees and their concern and position surrounding the whole issue of the legitimacy of the regime that rules Guatemala. Our brother, Felipe Rojas. Buenas noches, um, hermanos, hermanas. Mi nombre es Felipe Rojas, trabajo con la comunidad guatemalteca en Los Ángeles. Uh, good evening, brothers and sisters. My name is Felipe Rojas, and I work in the uh, refugee community in the Guatemalan Cultural Committee here in Los Angeles. Nosotros trabajamos para buscar apoyo solidario, económico y moral a la lucha del pueblo guatemalteco por salir de la pobreza económica, social y política. I'm sorry, uh, we work here in Los Angeles looking for um, support and solidarity for the people of Guatemala in their struggle for um, economic and uh, political rights. Guatemala, in Guatemala, poseemos 86% de la población vive en extrema pobreza. In Guatemala, 86% of the population lives in extreme poverty. El 67% de la población no sabe leer ni escribir. 67% of the population does not know how to read or write. El 75% de la población guatemalteca somos indígenas. 75% of the Guatemalan population is indigenous. Pero el 70% de la tierra en Guatemala pertenece al 2.5% de la población. But 70% of the land in Guatemala belongs to 2.5% of the population. Vivimos en una sociedad militarizada. We live in a society that's militarized. Right. Con un ejército de ocupación en nuestro propio país. With a army of occupation in our own country. Y tenemos 500 años por luchar por nuestros derechos. And we have been struggling for our rights for 500 years. Y por lo tanto, reconocemos como pueblo la autonomía y la independencia de todos los países del mundo. And therefore, we as a people recognize the autonomy and self-determination of all peoples throughout the world. Y creemos que todos los pueblos deben luchar por sus derechos y por su territorio. And we believe that all people should fight for their rights and for their territory. En este momento los tratados del gobierno guatemalteco con el gobierno beliceño. At this time the treaties between the government of Guatemala and the government of Belize. Para Guatemala si significa buscar un espacio político y económico con la comunidad económica europea. Are a way for Guatemala to seek a political and economic space with the European economic community. Ya que todo le, con, todos los bancos les han cerrado su apoyo económico dada la alta violación a los derechos humanos. Because all of the banks have cut off their political support due to the high human rights violations rate in Guatemala. Lo que nos preocupa de los tratos con el gobierno beliceño en este momento. What worries us about the treaties with the Belizean government at this point es la posibilidad de crear proyectos de desarrollo que sirvan como un puente para el ejército guatemalteco atacar a la población guatemalteca por diferentes puntos. Uh, what worries us is the possibility that the uh, army of Guatemala will develop development projects that will be used as a bridge for them to attack the people of Guatemala. Nosotros repetimos, reconocemos la independencia y la autodeterminación del pueblo beliceño. Once again, we want to repeat that we recognize 
the independence and, and self-determination of the people of Belize. Y ustedes pueden ver en nuestros pa papeles membretados you can see, for example, this is our stationery, que Guatemala no tiene Belice como los papeles oficiales. The, for us, Guatemala does not own Belize as the, the official papers say. Esta es el pensamiento y la posición del pueblo guatemalteco. This is the thought process and the position of the people of Guatemala. Y ustedes tienen derecho de pelear por la integridad de su territorio. And you have the right to struggle for the integrity of your territory. Porque de esa ayuda usted, de esa manera ustedes estarán ayudando indirectamente. In this way you will be independent, I'm sorry, in this way you will be indirectly helping. A las estrategias de los militares guatemaltecos en contra de nuestro pueblo the strategy of the Guatemalan military against our people. Gracias. Thank you. It's uh, very important for us to hear from our brothers. It's very rare that we hear from the people of Guatemala. The